Hello grade 9 students. This is part 2 of our course selection series. Today we're going to take some time and walk through my blueprint. We've looked at the courses you need to take, but now let's find them in my blueprint and talk a little bit about what happens if we put a code in that we didn't want. How do we actually add those courses? I know that you did your course selection in grade 8 in my blueprint, but this should refresh you a little bit. As you can see, I'm on cedarbrayci.com, our home page for Cedarbray Collegiate. I'm going to open the menu, go to the word guidance, click on the arrow, and go down to course selection. I will click on that, and as I do that, I'm going to click either on the words My Blueprint or this link below it. This will take us into the My Blueprint page that we want. As you can see, this is the welcome page and it shows you the school account login. This is based on your student number and password that you would normally use to get into any TDSB computer or into your AW. So when we click on that button, this is what you should actually see. So you should see a home page that looks like this. And on this page, there are two ways to get into your high school plan. We can go down here to plan courses, or we can go over to high school. And high school is the probably the easiest way to do this. If we click on the word high school, it takes us right into our, our official high school plan. And you'll notice that it has recorded courses that were taken this year at Cedarbrae. And you will notice that there is a grade 10 column. It's got the grade 10 next year, which is where we're going to add our courses. And if you notice, the courses that I said were compulsory, English, Math, Science, History, Civics and Careers, all have the names here. The one thing you need to remember, though, is that you need to click on the word for the subject. You need to click on English to add your English. Sometimes people think that it automatically will put in the English course code if they don't click on it. But that is not the case. So when we're adding our courses, we have to click and add the actual course code that we want. You'll also notice, too, that we have three alternates. So well, let's get started here. If I click on the word English, you'll notice that it has taken me to a number of different English areas, but I just want the grade 10 information. So here I'm going to use this grade filter and I'm going to say 10. And what it will do now is narrow everything down. So now I have two grade 10 English classes. And here I have the regular program English and I also have the STEM English. And if I'm an ESL student, I have the levels of ESL and you would pick the appropriate two ESL courses that you need for the following grade 10 year. Now I'm going to close that up and we'll look at grade 10 English again. I think I'm going to try the STEM program this year. No, I didn't take it in grade nine, but I'm interested in STEM. I'm going to click on that code ENG2DP. I'm going to read the description of the course. I'm going to look at what the prerequisites are. And if there's a guidance message here, I'm going to read that. Once I've done that and I decide this is the course I want, I'm going to add that into my course selections. And there it is. Now I'm going to look at math. Okay, let's do math. Again, it doesn't give me just the grade 10. It gives me college mathematics, grade nine math, mixed math, university math. But if you notice here, there is a grade 10 mathematics or you can filter again by grade. Here you'll also see two codes, one, MPM 2 D1 is the regular English program and for anybody who is not taking immersion French. The other code MPM 2 D5 is for the immersion French students only. So since I'm not in immersion French, I'm going to put 
grade 10 regular English math in. I'm going to take a look at it. OK. Add that to my program. Now we have science. So in science, filter it down. I have the regular English one. I have the the immersion French and I also have the STEM note because I decided I was going to go into the STEM program for grade 10. I have to choose the grade 10 STEM science. So I will click on SNC 2DP. Read it over, check the guidance message. Yes, I've got the 2DP. Yes, I've got the science. Okay. I'm going to add that into my courses. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to add things in. Now with respect to history, I will click on history. Interestingly enough here, it is listing not only history, it's got English history, ESL history, extended French history, immersion French history, and it's got geography. Now this is because history and geography fit under Canadian World Studies, but I am in grade 10 and I will be taking the geography. I'm not an ESL student, I'm not an extended French, and I'm not an immersion French. So I will click on the English history, CHC 2D1. Now, if I was an immersion French student, I would open that up and look for the CHC 2D5. If I am an extended French, CHC 2D4. If I was an ESL student, it would be CHC 2D8. But as I said, I am going to take the regular program English history course and add that in. Now we have civics and careers. Again, we open that up. Oh, but where did civics and careers go? Well, civics and careers can be found in the list of courses that are here. And if you notice, everything is listed alphabetically. So we can look for civics and careers. We'll open that up. We have our English, our ESL, Extended French, and Immersion French. And you choose the civics and careers that matches the program that you are in. So um, let's see, I'll just add that one in because you know, I just, I'm just going to just add one in. But then I, I look at it and go, oh my goodness, I just added the Extended French one in there. I'm not in Extended French. So what do I do? So I see these three little dots here. I click on those and I delete this. Or I can say change. If I click on change, it takes me back to civics and careers. And now what I can do is I can go back to the English one, click on that and add it in and correct the mistake I made. So here we are, ENG 2DP, MPM 2D4, um, SNC 2DP, CHC 2D1, and CivCar. These five are the compulsory courses that every grade 10 student needs to take. Now, I did say that I was going to go into the STEM and there was another course that I had to take that would fit into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for that computer science course. And again, it is, you know, a whole list of different courses here, but let's see if I filter by grade, if that's going to help me any. I still have my alphabetical listing, but I can still find under this, the letter C, computer studies. And there it is. I only have the one course code, and that is the digital technology for innovations in the changing world, which is learning how to write the programming language for the computer. Now looking at these, I can look at things and go, okay, now I know I had to get my group one, two, and three. So what is this going to work out to be? So I go back and I look at the courses I took in the past year and I took the GLS, that learning strategies course, and perhaps others in grade nine, you took the GLE, the, the, um, learning strategies for students with IEPs. That would count as a group one. So I have my group one, the computer science or this digital technology 
Well, it's going to count as my group three. I need to find a group two. Now, what was that? Uh, that was either an extra biz, that was a business course, or an extra arts, or a um, phys ed course, or another French. Well, let's see. Maybe I want to, maybe I want to go into grade 10 French. So again, I'm going to filter by grade, grade 10, and I'm going to look for French as a second language. There we go. French is, oh, but I have French as a second language core, extended French and immersion French. So if I was in the immersion program, I would be clicking on that, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, extended French, I would click on that and take the extended French code. No, I'm looking for the core French. So we're going to open that core for, oh my goodness, there's two course codes. What am I supposed to do here? Well, you'll notice that there is a grade nine core French introductory or beginner. So for any student who it has not yet taken French, who did not take French in elementary school be, between grade four to eight, perhaps they're a newcomer to, um, to Ontario, to Canada and they have not yet taken French and they haven't taken definitely 600 hours of French, they could choose this FSF 101. But considering I took grade nine academic French last year, I will be taking this one, grade 10 core French FSF 2D1. I'll click on that. Yes, that is the right one. And I will add it to my course selections. So now I know that I have completed a group one, a group two, and a group three. Now I have one other course to choose and, and I'm not sure what I really want. So this is where that course selection guide that I mentioned to you in the first video can be helpful to you because this is where you were supposed to have listed all the course courses that you're interested in, all the course codes, as to what you wanted to put in. So that guide will help you put in the correct codes for your grade 10 year. But let's see, what else could I look at? Well, course code, let's see, filter it by grade again. So I've got visual arts, I have drama, guitar, keyboarding, vocal music, instrumental music, I have business, I've already got my history for, and my civ card. And I put my computer science in. I've got my English. Hmm. Family studies. There's also a film studies. That sounds interesting. Let's see what else could be there. I got my French. I could take a phys ed. Hmm. I've already got math and science. Or maybe I could take Spanish. Or maybe if I had an IEP, I could again take the GLE. 209 and put that in to help me with my other courses, but I don't have an IEP, so I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll look at a tech subject too. Maybe I want to look at, uh, there's comm tech, construction technology, design, transportation technology. Well, maybe I want to learn how to fix a car. So let's just check the transportation technology one out. So this one introduces, okay. So I read this over and I go, yeah, that sounds good. Add that in. And now I have my five subjects I'm supposed to have. Now, if I was immersion French, I would have added the FIF. If I'm extended French, I would have added the FEF in one of these course spots. Now I've got that in there. So <clears throat> maybe I need to look for some other things now as my alternates. And again, that course selection sheet would have helped you in having you write down the alter alternative subjects that you wanted to take. So let's click on alternative. Again, it doesn't take you specifically to grade 10 subjects, but I'm going to go into grade 10. Now, what if my auto mechanics course doesn't run. What would I take instead of that? So maybe I'll look at tech again and say, maybe there's something else I want to do. Um, maybe I want another hands-on course. So if I didn't get my auto, maybe I would want to take 
construction technology or maybe I want to take communication technology or design. Let's see what design is. Let's open that up, read it over. All right, I like that one. So there you go. If I didn't get my tech, my auto mechanics, maybe I would want the tech design. Now, what if I didn't get my French? Well, I like learning languages and I happen to notice in here that there were some other languages, or at least one other language, I think, and it was Spanish. So if I don't get my French, maybe I'll take the Spanish instead. Maybe that would be a good alternative for me. So I've got that. And I have one more alternative. Now, the computer science I do need to take because that's part of the STEM. So this could be, this other one could come from any other area that I'm interested in. So if I open that up again, filter to the grade, and I look again. Well, I like the arts, but I'm not very good at drama or visual arts, but I could try them. Maybe, maybe business. Oh, maybe I want to learn piano keyboarding. Maybe I want to learn how to play guitar. Hmm. Or maybe I need to be physically fit. So let me just open up health and physical education. Now what you're going to find here is now that I filtered it down to basically grade 10, you're going to find that I have an English co-ed, an English female, an English male, extended French co-ed, extended French female, extended French male, Immersion French um, co-ed, all gender, Immersion French female, and Immersion French male. Now, I'm not taking the French, extended French or Immersion French, so I don't have to look at there, but I can decide now between, do I want the, if I want to take phys ed as an alternate, do I want the co-ed or the all gender, or do I want the female phys ed? And that's a choice that I need to make based on my comfort level. Or do I really want to take phys ed? Not so sure I want to take phys ed. So let's look again. I've taken Spanish, taken tech. Hmm, I've done my French. I wonder what film studies is. Open that up. Take a look at that. Maybe film studies. Maybe that's something I would like to take. So I could add that course in. I. And now, I have my three alternates. I have my five courses that I'm supposed to take plus three electives. Now I just remembered something. I didn't pass grade nine math, so I can't take the grade nine, grade 10 math. So now I have to actually delete that because that's wrong. So I have to now look for adding my grade nine math because I was in I wasn't successful in it. So this time I'm going to filter by grade and it's grade nine. And I'm going to look at the grade nine mathematics. Now I don't want to take the one in French because I'm not immersion French, but I will take the English one and that add that into my courses. Oh, something strange has happened. There is that little pinky red box. Now, the reason that is there is because my blueprint thinks this is a duplicate course. And in a sense it is because I haven't completed my grade nine math, but I can still submit my courses with this in because you see, I can't take summer school because my family's always away in July. So I need to leave that in there in my courses for next year. And it's not going to get in the way of me submitting my courses. So once you get your eight courses and your three alternates done and everything you've put in here has the prerequisite, the course that you must take and pass before you can take the next one, as long as it's in there, we can go and review our course selections. So this button up here, review course selections, and it's telling me I have a duplicate course in my plan. Now, I know I have a duplicate course, but I didn't pass the grade nine math and I can't take summer school. So how is the guidance counselor who's going to look at this know that this is the situation? Well, there is a box over here called add comments. So I'm going to put a comment in there that says, 
I did not pass grade nine math and I cannot take summer school. Let's see if that's going to type. Now, when the guidance counselor looks at your course selections, they know that there is a reason for this being here. Everything else looks good to me. I put everything that I'm supposed to have. I've chosen based on what I want. So I am going to submit my course selection. I'm going to click on submit course selection. Now when that happens, there is a little box that's going to pop up that says send approval email. It's a parent guardian approval email. And you want to add your parent's email, the correct parent email, not yours, into this spot. And once that happens, it, the courses that you have selected will be sent to your parents for approval. Now really you should be sitting with your parents and having a discussion about what you're taking before you put your My Blueprint together. But just in case you haven't, the, your parents have to see this. Now what if your parents' email is not working or they don't have an email and they may not understand um, what the email might be saying? So instead of sending the approval email, I close that box and there's a little printer button here and I can click on that and what will happen is a paper copy of your course selections will come up. And if there's any in, if there's any problems with it or um, say maybe you notice after you've hit submit that, oh, you made a mistake. Well, that's okay. Because what you're going to do is you are going to number one, print this and have your parents sign it and bring it into the guidance office. Now, if there is a problem with this particular um, selection of courses, let me just cancel that print for me, then you will talk to your guidance counselor and they will help you correct that. Sometimes we allow resubmission of courses if parents don't approve or if there's been an error and you need to contact us if there is an issue. So a parent approval is absolutely necessary for us to let your courses go through. So it's either an email to your parents or your parents see the printed sheet, they sign it and you bring it into the guidance office. So let me just close that and I can close my submission. Now what you'll see is that my courses were submitted I can send another approval email if I need to. All my information is here and I have completed my course selection. So let's go back to the course selection page. You've used the My Blueprint link. That is the correct one. You've used the information on your transition page, your course package, course package, You've looked at using that grade 9 to 12 course selection sheet, which is a guide to help you know what to actually put into your My Blueprint, and you have completed the process. This must be completed by March 1st, 2024 at 4 o'clock or before that date, which is much preferable. If you don't know, who your guidance counselor is, if you have questions, if there's been an error, again, go to the Meet the Guidance team, scroll down to the list of guidance counselors, and you can look at what last name each counselor deals with and contact your guidance counselor by setting up, by clicking here on here or this link, schedule an appointment, sign in with your school credentials and try to set up an appointment with your guidance counselor to have a conversation with them about your course selection. Use the materials in the course selection pages, your transition pages, and think about what you're going to choose. 
make wise decisions and good luck on what you're choosing. And if you have questions, definitely get in touch with your guidance counselor.